Hello there everyone, my name is Clink, and welcome back to Super Mario 64. Last time, we covered Lethal Lava Land, and today we'll be doing the 8th course, Shifting Sand Land. We're just gonna also ignore how uh, some of the stars of last time went, and hope today's go better, but I honestly doubt they will, as I'm very bad at this course. Anyway, our first star today is gonna be in the Talons of the Big Bird. Let's go! So, shifting sandland. This is uh, this is not my favorite course. I'll be honest. Um, I think it's one of the roughest courses in the game, personally. And I usually just want it to be over. Um, so yeah, it's probably gonna take me a bit to get through this level. So. This first star, I'm actually not doing right right now. So, for it, you want to get... Oh wow, I actually made that. You want to get up here and grab the wing cap. Because you need to get to that stupid bird. Being able to triple jump also helps though. I don't know what is wrong with my controller right now. Hello? I seem to have this trouble whenever I play Mario games sometimes. I just can't triple jump. There we go. So yeah, we'll get right in his path, hit the bird for the star to appear on the other side of the map, and grab your star. That took longer than it should have, but that's okay. I'm just, I'm recording this very early in the morning, so I might just be waking up a bit. At least this next star is going to be the shortest and easiest star on the level, and one of the shortest in the entire game. Shining atop the pyramid. We're gonna hope I can get this right on the first try. You're gonna wanna go right about here and do a triple jump. You know, this isn't how you're like supposed to do it. Uh, you're actually supposed to like, you know, go all the way around the level, but this is the speed run strategy. So right here, don't fall in. Make sure this is a double jump right here. Do a triple jump and get to the top of the pyramid. Very simple start. But this third star is what I've been dreading, so let's just get it out of the way. Inside the Ancient Pyramid. So, I'm actually going to be doing the 100 coins on this level, because once you go inside the pyramid, you cannot come back out, and like, I want to say half your coins come from the inside of the pyramid, so you really... Uh, need to uh, you actually have to go inside the pyramid to complete this hundred coin mission so um, I honestly don't know the total amount of coins that are in this level I've gotten all the way to 110 while still messing up the blue coin switch of this level so yeah and I even ignored those floating red coins in the sky because I'm honestly really bad at getting them. So I'm not going to get them even on this one. And please, thank you, game. Um, one thing to note is the pokies will actually drop a blue coin when you kill them. So make sure you defeat every single pokey in the level. And that should probably amount to, I want to say, 15 or 20 of your coins. I'm honestly trying to remember how many pokies there are. There's a second one right here, though. Part of me wants to say there's four pokies. Break this box for a red coin. And just so you know, if you throw this box at one of these other boxes, uh, 
it will just smash the bigger box and go right through them. So throw this at a pillar and get two more coins. And then get up on top of here for another coin. And then trusty wing cap. So I'm going to come get this coin and then head over to here to get this red coin right here. And then another red coin is going to be in the water over here. Be very careful of that bird though because he's going to try and steal your hat and if he steals your hat you cannot use power ups. So, you won't be able to use the wing cap until you get your hat back. Um, kill that pokey. Get another blue coin. Each of the pillars has a coin on top of it. So just get all of those. Then, be careful with this box right here. Don't go towards one of the sand pits with it, and then hold back so that you guys, you don't go up that hill as far as possible. And that's five more coins out of that box. You can get them all before they disappear. This pokey is probably the hardest one in the level to kill, just because he's up on uh, this slope right here. There is a way to knock out the bottom of the pokies, and that can help you kill them, but also just land on top of them and then you want to go over here and then okay. come to this side of the pyramid get a couple more coins We'll go inside the pyramid now. What you want to do is on your left, blue coin switch, and then immediately run over here. Three more blue coins. Very helpful for the hundred coins. And then we're basically just going to be climbing the inside of the pyramid at this point, and there will be plenty of coins along the way for us to pick up. So, don't even worry about the 100 coins if you come in here with any more than 50 coins, I would say. Um, be very careful of these sand pits, though. They will kill you if you fall into them. I'm just so bad at this level, and I honestly don't know why. I've, I've, I've never liked this place ever since I first played this game. I'll be honest, this is the one one of the few parts of the series that I was just dreading making. But, it's okay. It's short, and it's short enough of a level. Or, I guess uh, a better way of saying it would be the levels in this game are short enough to where it doesn't really matter. Um, you don't need to come all the way around here. I just did for a couple extra coins, and then you can get, uh, what is this, seven, eight more? Right here. It's kind of hard to get some of these though, just because the camera angle right here is awful. There we go. And then over here, another Goomba. I'm just not even going to kill him though. You could just like get on top of that thing though and go up here. And then a couple more Goombas. A lot of Goombas in this level to just stomp on for a couple free coins. Get up here. And five more free coins are on this fence. 
I don't know. It's not a fence, obviously, but... Thing you can climb. And then... There we go. That's the 100 coin star. So now I can just speed through the rest of this place. So. I wanna go up here. There's this guy, jump over him. Try to outrun him. Don't get squashed. You don't die in one hit at least if you do. You just lose three health and I don't know what that was. And then get up here. Ignore these guys. And then you gotta go along this kinda narrow path right here. These guys are not going to be very friendly to me. It's fine though. Mario can get electrocuted quite a bit since I'm at full, or I was at full health. Uh, come up here, be careful not to fall, because this isn't up against a solid wall anywhere. Go under this guy, walk up here, jump up, oh boy, okay, there we go. And there's your star. Alright. That was the part I was the most worried about, out of the way. But that 100 coin mission takes quite a while, so... And we're, we've only got half the stars. Anyway, stand tall on the four pillars. Um, take a wild guess. So, start off... Nearly die. Uh, I probably shouldn't be attempting triple jumps because I can't even seem to do those today. Okay, you need to grab the wing cap anyways. So, I always ground pound the four pillars. I don't think you need to. I think I ended up getting the star by just standing on it in the center once. But stand in the center of the pillar. Then... center, walk a little bit, make sure you uh, get a very nice feel for the pillar. Then our third pillar, I'm just going to fly down here because it will be slightly faster to just walk up the pillar. Ground pound over here. And whoa! Um, the pyramid's top comes off. Fly on over to it. Barely made it. Let's go. And then you'll fall in here and ride this elevator of a terrible camera angle. There we go. Down to the bottom of the pyramid, and you might have noticed it in the last level when we were down here. There's this weird box in the middle and this hole. This is how you get into the hole. And down here is one of the most iconic bosses from this game. Jump onto it, and you have two hands. Who walk here? Who break seal? Who wake ancient ones? We know like right rumble. We know like intruders now battle hand to hand. Yes, hand boss. Um, some people might even know this from Mario Kart DS better. So, you just gotta walk up to the hands and punch them in the eyes, like uh, like a Zelda boss almost. So once you do two hits, they'll do this weird thing, oh wow, okay, don't die. Alright, be careful for the last hand, because it'll push you and try to knock you off. But as long as you stand in the middle of it, you can get the last punch. And that's pretty much it. That's start. Here we go. Just two more to go. But one of them is red coins. Alright. So, free flying for eight red coins. This level might take me a bit. Especially with how my triple jumping's been. So, eight red coins. You know the drill. So here's the first one. I've actually pretty much shown all of them. I showed off four of them in the 100 coins. 
and then the other half of them are up in the sky that I didn't show. So, coin here. Um, might as well start working my way around the level. So, come over here, do a triple jump, fly into this red coin. You can maybe get both of them in one go. It's kind of hard to, you gotta like make sure you keep your altitude up. Yeah, I didn't get it that time. And also, a lot of the times when you do get both of them, it looks like you actually go under the second coin, but the game just gives it to you anyways. So there's four. Then number five is gonna be just over here in the water. That was uh, pretty lucky, honestly. Number six. And then my least favorite pillar over here. Seven, and then number eight is right over here. All right, and then return over to this and grab your star. Hopefully this last star doesn't take too long. This part's actually already been really long. It's because of how long the 100 coin mission here takes and me messing around for two minutes. I can't really think of anything I'm gonna need to cut from this part. Oh well, the last last star might have something I'll cut. The pyramid puzzle. So this star, I do not like very much. Uh, it kind of deals with the worst problem in this game the camera so we're just gonna go back inside the pyramid and I hope this goes well because essentially what we're gonna be doing is you need to go all the way to the top and then jump down those three platforms and then into that sand bed right there that's about it so you know what honestly just to save a bit of time in this episode I'm gonna cut to the top of the pyramid from right here so I'll be right back Okay, now that I'm up here, just next to the inside the pyramid star, there's this little drop down right here. You want to just walk off of it very carefully. And that's coin one. So if you remember like in Mario Wings to the Sky earlier in the game, we had to get the... Um, I just, there we go. So we're going to jump down to that platform right there. So what you want to do, line it up right here, jump down across the waterfall. But yeah, uh, just like Mario Winks to the Sky, we have to grab five coins. Except this one is way harder because the camera angle is awful. But I actually managed to get all three of those on the first try. And I almost missed that. You just want to fall down onto this at that point. And then grab the two coins that are in this little sand river and then your star will appear. I am so happy I didn't have to climb this pyramid seven times like I did earlier. Oh yay. Grab your star and we are thankfully done here. So that's gonna do it for today. Next time on Super Mario 64 we will be taking on Bowser once again. So I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.